Greetings and welcome back to my channel, Queen Tasha TV. If you're keeping up with my RV adventures, I last left you at a weather force pit stop in Laramie, Wyoming. I got a good warm night's rest and hit the road the next morning to escape to find warmer weather. In today's video, join me on my RV adventures in Salt Lake City, Utah. For most of the drive through Wyoming to Salt Lake City, it was barely breaking 35 degrees, and all the mountains were snow-capped. I never would have expected to see this at the beginning of September, when it's still summer everywhere else. I braved the cold and when I finally reached the Utah border, it got warmer. And by warmer, I mean 54 degrees. But I'll take that over 35. And there was no more snow in sight. I overnighted at a Costco inside the city for the first night. The next day I was ready for warm weather adventures. It warmed up to 68 degrees and the sun was shining so I'd figure I'd go on a little stroll. I looked up a trail on the All Trails app and decided on the Memory Grove Trail. This was the one that was closest by that was labeled easy. Who's that guy? Davy Crockett? <laughs> Probably. Somebody left an apple here. All right, we are on the trail. Memory Grove Trail is a 1.7 mile loop that features a river and many historical memorials throughout the park. Half of the trail is paved and the other half is unpaved called the Freedom Trail where dogs can run and be free off leash. Well, this is where that, bird, that other bridge comes to. The other one where I was like, should I dig a way? This one should be kind of running around town now. Yeah. Squirrel, he's huge. That dog is gonna drive. 
Hey, doggy. Next, I booked a Boondockers welcome spot for two nights so I can connect to the grid and have a safe place to park for two nights as Salt Lake City is not so RV friendly. After a delightful stay there, I headed to the main attraction, the Great Salt Lake State Park. Not what I was expecting. Oh, but it's really interesting. Tried to work outside, but the bugs is getting me. So I'm going back inside the game. Hi. All right. So I've been at this park all day, mainly working inside the RV, but now I'm going to get out and have some fun. It didn't smell like this in the morning. Somebody must have peed in it. <laughs> Just kidding. It's I feel like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this receded. This beach has a receding sand line that's so deep way back here I don't know it just looks like the water was here and it's not deep water this is the back behind the beach it's right over here alright so I have arrived at the beach it does smell like there was a couple of fresh dumps here Couple of cows, couple of couple of dogs, couple of elephants came and come, took a dump here just recently. That's what it smells like. <sighs> but once we get some water, plus it's just the smells, I don't know. But I have a feeling we need it. And we're out. I wanna see if it's warm. I'm not really sure yet. Are they gonna bite me? Because if so, oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. These little things you just think are just like dirt or whatever, they're called rind flies. I don't know if they bite, but when you get really close to them, they start to like move around. That's pretty gross. Huh. Okay. So there's that. There we go. Let's see. The water. The sand is really soft, and the water is nice. You can walk right in. It's very nice. Water and mountains. What else could you ask for? Last one. <laughs> it is really weird and gross here, though. get over to what that is which looks like a little sandy bar thing but it gets deep over here I think. Yeah, 
this water looks disgusting. I'm not swimming in this at all. I'm very good in my feet. It's doing something interesting in the water over here. Uh, uh, by this little sandbar. It's kind of If I get in here, let me bring it up. Look at that girl. Purple palace. Air inflatable boat on Salt Lake City. I mean, on Salt Lake. <laughs> One day, that will be my life. Sally, technically they're motoring, but it's boating. Oh, I'm sorry. Not this <laughs> trying to get to is Carrington Island and Promontory Point. And then over there is Antelope Island. And then in between that, out there is Fremont Island. And then the over there is Stanberry Island, second largest. It does not say at any point how far away I am. From there are no island. fish in the Great Lake, just brine shrimp and brine flies. Yuck. I love a good sunset. It's really out of focus here because of the lake, I wonder. Good morning, YouTube. So, uh, my Salt Lake City journey is done um, I am leaving the Salt Lake City area today headed west on 80 and I'm gonna stop in um, West Wendover Nevada um, there's some really cheap rooms at casinos there and I've never been to a casino really like I mean, I've been to casinos, but like, I've never stayed at a casino and did the whole casino thing. I don't gamble, so I'm not going there for that. But I just want a fancy room for really cheap and um, just kind of live glamorous life for a second. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a little break from RV life, get some work done and be a little bougie for a couple of days. And so, we'll see what happens, but I will take you along the journey and I will show you things and do things and we'll see how everything goes. So stay tuned to that.
All right, so I made it to the casino and I am pumped. There is one and this other one just showed up. Two other RVs here. Um, I'm actually checking in, so I don't know if they're just here hanging out, but I'm checking into the hotel for two nights. Because <sighs> your girl needs a break from um, boondocking and I need to plug in and get some work done. And I was passing through this town. I'm not in a rush to get to California because it's on fire. So, you know, just hang out in these little desert towns in Nevada. So, first up, Rainbow Hotel in West Wendover. Um, I picked this because it was $59 a night. And the room is, we'll see what the room looks like. It looks pretty nice in the pictures and the photos, but you know how that is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and it's rainbow. Who doesn't like rainbows? Alright, we are at the room and it is a little tap key. Green light. And we're gonna go in. Let's get some lights on. Oh, so come in. This could be an adjoining room. Do, 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 do. I got two beds. I'll sleep in one each night. <laughs> got a cute little work eat area. Yes. And let's see. Looks like there's a fridge. Yeah. Did they put any snacks? No. <laughs> I bet you these waters cost money. How much does it cost? Let's see. Compliments of Rainbow. It's a compliment. It's free. That's nice. So you can make some tea. They give you tea and coffee. And you get a little Keurig. I don't, I'll drink the tea. I don't do coffee. And got some fancy, fancy drawers and stuff. Cute. Little table. Nice big TV. And let's see. Uh oh. Hell yes. I love this. There is lights around the mirror. Yo. Hey. And then look at this mirror. They know. They know. They know. They know. Hey. <laughs> and what is this? This is a little spot for used razor blades. That's what Jerry Seinfeld was talking about. <laughs> no, that was in air, airplanes. Oh, okay. They stopped doing this at hotels, at some hotels. You get the lotion, you got shampoo, some conditioner, some nice salts, some fresh towels. Oh, that's a dope picture. Ooh, there's my sailboat. Right there. Ocean, the mountains. <gasps> exactly where I want to live. Bora Bora. Alright guys, I'm moving to Bora Bora. <laughs> there's an ocean and beautiful ocean and beach. And mountains at the same time. <sighs> I love it. I want to go there. I got a tub. I'm not thrilled by these little door things. But I think I might take a soak. Look at the gold. Yes. They should have put a light in here. That would have been really dope. But it's a nice, huge bathroom. I wish somebody was here with me to be fabulous, but it's all good. Where's this? The big island of Hawaii. Uh huh. But it's pretty cool, though. I'm happy. Let's take a look gander, a look outside. No real view of anything. I have no view. There's no view. That's okay. Please only remove your mask to take 
take the tray for a dress and then replace it immediately after. We thank you for your cooperation. Have a wonderful day. Eating constantly is the only way to not have to wear a mask. And french fries is the best snack to do that with because you can eat it slowly. One fry at a time. Well, that's all for my RV adventures in Salt Lake City, Utah. Stay tuned to my next adventures when I explore Vegas, baby. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. I'm out. So what? I keep it rolled up, sagging my pants, not caring what I show. Keep it real with my niggas, keep it playing for these hoes.